Before we get into my vlog today, I needed to use this platform to raise awareness on the devastation that our community has faced this last week. With Brisbane, Southeast Queensland and Northern Rivers being hit with the most rainfall in a long time, leading into the worst floods that we've ever seen. It's honestly so sad, it's unimaginable. Thousands upon thousands of people have lost everything. I'm talking their homes, all their memories, belongings, their pets and some loved ones. Watching and leaving their houses flood completely underwater with only the clothes on their back, wondering how they'll ever rebuild again. Businesses, schools, complete towns underwater. You may be watching the news or social media wondering how you can help, feeling helpless and wanting to do more. This is a call out to each and every single one of you watching. Please do something. Whether it's volunteer your time, your resources, any connections that you have, clean out your food cupboard, do a shop, spread awareness on how everyone else around you can help, please do. In my description box below, I will link some current drop-off points and also ways that you can donate money or give back to those who have lost everything. So thank you so much on behalf of everyone who's been affected by the 2022 floods. Welcome back to my YouTube. I've just made my protein oats. I'm obsessed with them at the moment. I feel like on TikTok and online, protein oats have been so trending and everyone's getting so creative, which is really cool. And it's really inspired me to start playing around with some of my own recipes. I love chopped caramel. I feel like, I feel like it's my favorite flavor combination. So definitely give that one a go. I'm going to add it into my app because it's so friggin' yummy. But today I'm just going to catch up with some work because I had a couple of days off last week. Um, so I'm catching up at home and then I'm going to meet Ash at the office. Like we're going to ask if she can meet me at the office because we've got a few things to cover. We've got a baseline meeting and then little Taji has skateboarding this afternoon. So I thought I'd just take my camera along. Vlog, I'm in my 24th week of pregnancy, nearly 25 weeks. So it is just crazy how fast this pregnancy has gone. Steve and I were meant to start our hypnobirthing on Monday, but school was canceled due to all the flooding that's going on around the Gold Coast and Brisbane. So we postponed it to next week. So I'm really excited to start that and kind of switch my fear and my beliefs and my, I suppose, lack of understanding about birth and turn that into feeling empowered and calm and excited for birth because Taj was definitely quite traumatic. So I'm um, really looking forward to hopefully having a really positive experience in birth. But um, yeah, I'll come along for my day in the life, maybe two days, see how we go. Hello. Hello. Bad reception. Yeah, I had a solid sleep last night, so feeling really good today. Mm. Um, but yeah, how about you? Yeah, I had a good sleep actually. I only peed once. Oh, yay. I, I feel like three o'clock's my new time to get up, but I got up to pee and I went straight back to sleep, so that's a win for me. Are you sore from yesterday's sessions? Because you did two in a row, which I feel like we need to talk about because I just think it's a bit too much for these challenges. I, I really struggled my way through the second session after the first one. I would too. Um, it's just like, I was so fatigued afterwards. Mm. I had to regress the entire way through um, the second workout. Otherwise, I'm gonna head into the office at 12 because we've got the baseline Zoom fitting at two o'clock. Do you want to meet me in there and we can go over our content planning, go over our shoot tomorrow, go over schedules, like all that kind of stuff. We'll do it face to face. Yeah, that sounds good. We've got a lot to cover because like 
with content planning, we've got both YouTube and Sunroom, which I'm really excited for. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I'll see you at 12. Awesome. Yay. Bye, Ash. Bye. Wow, what a cute view. <laughs> I think I've found my perfect lip combo. I really love it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. Lip Cheat. You can't really see it there. It's just like a darker version of my natural lip. And then the Fenty Gloss Bombs I'm so obsessed with. This one is in color Fussy, but those two together I really, really like. I don't know if you can see. Anyways, I'm off to the office. Oh, the other day though, if you're pregnant, you'll hear me, you'll feel me. I have started seeing a Pilates pre and postnatal like specialist to check on my pelvic floor, to work on my pelvic floor, make sure I know how to engage it, but also how to fully relax it. And a lot of people that do a lot of training and have trained for years can actually be quite tight and too tight, which isn't good when you're trying to give birth. But anyways, I was in the shops with Stephen Dodge the other day. And you know, when you can feel a sneeze, I'm also not a cute sneezer. Like now, it's like, it's you, it's you, it's you. I'm like, I have it you. Like really ugly and loud. I sneezed three times and I stopped in the middle of the shopping center because I realized pretty much peed myself. It's a first time in my life that I have, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much weak myself. So gross. But I went to this Pilates teacher and I was like, okay, so I sneezed not once, not twice, but three times in a row and this happened and um, so she's teaching me how to like engage when I can feel a sneeze coming on and I've been practicing it but yeah that was a that was a moment to, to remember. <laughs> so that's a little update there. I'm also starting hypnobirthing next Monday so I'm really really excited for that because reflecting on Taj's birth I didn't realize how traumatic and scary it was and now I just have I'm so full of fear. I don't want to. I want to go in there feeling empowered, excited, calm and I know anything can happen i'm super like open to doing whatever i need to do to get the baby out safe and for me to be safe and happy as well but i would love to go in there feeling empowered and just really work on my breath understand each process of labor and birth so and all my friends have done hypnobirthing they've just had the best experience so i'm starting that on monday with steve and we're both really really keen to learn all about that and then yeah it's literally less than four months to go if he or she makes full term crazy also what do you guys think girl or boy I keep swapping. I thought it was a boy. Everyone around me thinks girl. I've been calling it, sh calling the baby she now. Sarah called the baby he this morning. I just don't know. It's so weird not knowing, but it's the best experience. Highly recommend it if you are going to be pregnant. It's it's a really, really fun. But at the same time, it's fun to find out and have a gender reveal and like plan everything. But I've also only bought a car seat. That's it. Oh, we're bought. So Steve and I are starting to make a list and we're gonna to start to chip away at it. We've also just found out that our friggin' house, of course, I knew this would happen. Everyone told me, I just knew it would. It was meant to be done in October. They've already pushed it back till December. I was like, please just have us in there for Christmas day. I don't care if it's a day before, but I really wanna be in there for Christmas and have all of our family over. We will see. Anyways, go to the office now, meet with Ash and um, get stuck into the work. Winning. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Except we're in different shorts. I'm in mint. And I'm in camo. camo. Give me the baby. Okay. <laughs> back, to, back to work. We haven't had lollies in the office for a long time. It's been a while. But I feel like every couple of months we just have this burst of wanting some lollies. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. And, and look, today, guys, look. There's four this, of us in here today. This was full like um, half an hour ago. Nat's <laughs> eaten most of them. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> she just won't admit it, guys. <laughs> I feel like it will win even except for Emma. She's only had like one or two. She's had like one or two. Who's a cutie? Hey guys, so I've just finished up at the office. Ash is gonna head home now as well. Good meeting, got a lot covered, but I feel like 
it's just stressful at the moment. Um, for everyone who owns a business, you would understand, but if you don't, at the moment, due to the C word, everything that's going on in the world, everything has just gone up. Like for us to get things made, it is just costing us so much more money. And there's so many delays, like everything is delayed. All of our collections are so far behind. All of our samples, any changes we make, it takes so much longer. And then you've got the option to get things like sent over by sea, by ship, or flown over. But flown over is just like, it blows it completely like out. Like we literally, sometimes you're not making any money. And obviously for a business, you need to think of the retail price and margins and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's just, it's a big learning curve, but there's a lot involved and I'm feeling very stressed. Even my maternity stuff, like I, I've been working on this for so long, but I still am making slight changes and I can't even get another sample for like another eight weeks. And if I approve that, then it should come by the end of the June. I've had my baby already. So I'm wearing samples at the moment, like around and training just to like, because I love them and they're comfortable and the material is insane. But I would have my baby by the time <laughs> Which I'll still use the nursing bra and I'm sure I'll still love the pants and shorts or whatever But it's just so frustrating how delayed everything is and just how expensive everything is getting It's making it so much harder for us small business owners to like make things happen So that's kind of an update behind the scenes I know it looks all glitz and glam for most people when you look on social media not that that person owns a brand and that person is doing so well and woohoo like and yeah, it's so fun I love I love so many aspects of it, but the financial side of things really stresses me out. I'm just yeah yeah, it's, it's not my forte. I'm very creative. I like keep me in the creative section, but obviously when you own a brand, you have to be amongst it all. So anyways, that's my little rant. But I'm going to take little Taj to skateboarding with Steve and we are flying out to Newcastle tomorrow night and I am so scared. We are flying out in like 100% storms in Brisbane, flying into storms in Newcastle. If you've been following for a while, you know that I am a terrible flight. It is my worst fear on a good day a good sunny day, let alone a windy stormy day. I have full blown panic attack. So yeah, I'm, I'm petrified, but it is what it is. It's my brother's wedding. Got to go, want to go. It's enough to suck it up, but I just don't want to like be like that in front of Taj. I feel like he'll either like want to like help me or he'll get really upset seeing me really upset. So yeah, that's on the back of my mind at the moment. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys Taj's skateboarding lesson because it's so damn cute. Hi, I'm doing skating. Skating. What's your favorite sport? Footy, surfing, skating, or golf? Footy. And what's next? Uh, skating. Skating, and then what after that? Golf? Yeah. Then surfing. Yeah. You don't love surfing, do you? No, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Dad, hear that? That's not true. <laughs> I'm really cold in the car, Mom. When you're at surfing, you love it. Yeah. All right. Skatey. Have fun. Let's do knees first. All right, just so if you fall over, it doesn't hurt. That sounds good, eh? Yeah. And we're gonna go one, two, skate One, two, skate Good job. Now, tick tack, tick tack. Uh, how do I do it? Knees low, knees low, tap, tap, tap. That's it, pick it up. We just put Taj to bed, what well, you did. Yeah. The negotiations. It goes on forever and ever. Hey? Oh my God. Some nights I feel like he was easy when he was younger. Yeah. Now he's older. He's like, well, you know, I shouldn't go to bed at this time because of this. Or... You've got more power though. Like he walks, he tries to negotiate with me way more. I'm definitely more <laughs> the disciplined one. Stern, yeah. <laughs> he ends up in my bed. So I was like in here. I'm like, Taj, stop arguing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're off to Newcastle tomorrow for my brother's wedding. We also emailed about our but Steve brought home this box. These are all new ones for us to smell. They are. So Lynn, our production manager, he puts all like samples of different scents together and then gives them to Steve to bring home to us, AKA me, to approve because if I'm not like a hell yes, it doesn't go ahead. Without looking at the label, what do you reckon that is, Freddie? Something lime? No. Oh, it smells, it smells zesty. Have another go. Passion fruit. Mm, close. 
Something tropical. Mango. Oh yeah, I said zesty, didn't I? Okay, so that's mango. What else have we got? See if you can get this then. Mm, that's like a perfume though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's gross. Wild flowers. Sounds like frangipani actually. Like some, like a frangipani or something. Wild flowers, that's stuff. Can you hear Scooby snoring? Yeah. This is a well-known perfume, but you, yeah, can't like say a replica, it Like a replica of it. Is that Versace? Yeah. Is it? Like a Versace one? Yeah. Smells similar. Mm. That's another version of that one. Oh, that's better. That's nice. What's that? Yeah. The, that's stronger. The, yeah. Put that one over there. So those ones are no-go. What did you think of the mango? I really yeah, like that one. Did you like the mango or I not? I like the mango, yeah. Yeah, that's, mango's good. Oh, I Man, really like that. Mandarin and rosemary. Rosemary? It's a weird combo. Strangely nice. That's so mm. different. Mm. It smells nothing like rosemary, but it's Man. really nice. French lime blossom. I don't know. No, I'm not a fan. It smells like a lady perfume. Don't you reckon? Yeah. Oh, this is the one that you brought home last week. You can't put that on though. I just put tan on, so I can't put any on, but I smell it. We had this years ago with mum. Yes, Must brought it back. Mustics. Brought it back. Mustics. Do you remember the old lolly? Yeah. Oh my god, that smells exactly like the yeah. lolly. You're gonna eat your arm. <gasps> Holy moly. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That smells exactly like the lolly, right? Yep. Do I got tan on? Uh -huh. Oh my god, that is so good. It's delicious. So it comes in the whipped soap, the custard, which is the best moisturizing cream on the planet. Oh, you got it on your lips. <laughs> because you <laughs> put it on me. This is the oil. Oh my god, that's amazing. So good. This is what I've been using on my belly at night time. The body butter oil. I've obviously got all the scents. But it is so good if your skin gets itchy and dry and as it grows to keep it super hydrated. It's got a blend of five different oils in there. It's so beautiful. If you're pregnant, like you need to use this. Okay. Is, my, is my code still alive? Yep. If you guys want to shop any hideaway products, just pop the code in ASHI at checkout. Is that 10? Yep. 15? I think it's 20 at the moment. 20 percent. 20% off all of your orders. So if you're pregnant or if you just want a nice moisturizing cream, the body butters. What's your favorite product? Oh, product or fragrance? Go product first. Uh, definitely the whip soap. Whip soap? Whip soap or body wash. Yeah, we've been smashing the body wash. Yeah. Actually over whip soap at the moment. Yeah. I like the body butter oil at the moment because I'm pregnant, but then, otherwise day to day I use the body custard. And the new whip soap, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really fluffy. It's like... Hang on, it's blurry. It's, it's oh. like, it's, yeah. It's been reformulated and it's just, It's softer. It's like a mousse, almost. Yeah. Like yeah. I, the old whip soap's still good, but that's reformulated to be more softer, squishy, and more like yeah. air-like. Yeah. It's like mousse. Yeah. So, yeah, go and check it out. This is the business that Steve's run. Steve runs. If you're in Newy here. And this Versace one is a winner, huh? Well, it's not Versace, but it but, yeah, like, smells like. Yeah, that. well, the strong one was better, and I really like the mango, actually. I love fruity ones. Yeah. That's really good. Delish. All right, well, cool. wish me luck in our flight tomorrow because we're on a small plane. You'll be fine. It's gusty winds, You'll be hail, fine. You'll thunderstorm, be fine. You'll be fine. and rain. <laughs> Yeah. Next minute. <laughs> You're definitely going to be oh, I'm so freaking out. Um, yeah, I'm not keen, but... Only like 60 minutes, it'll be fine. Yeah, and I'm going to go into the office tomorrow. I've got a little bit of work to do before we fly out. And I'm also going to do day 11, I think it is, of the Pilates challenge. So get that last workout in before we head down. We're not going to finish Ozark, so are we? Ozark or Ozark? Ozark. We're watching Ozark. It's... The first couple of seasons were good, and now I'm kind of off it. What about you? I think it's going to get better. We're halfway through season three. <laughs> the old, remember the old girl just. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I but I think you. they always Close. they always end the season well. So I think I think we've passed the slow bit. I think it's going to get chaos. I feel like we just don't have much to watch at the moment. No, but they're not pumping the series out as much yet. We love all the Chicago seasons. We loved all American. Law and Order. Law and Order. Yellowstone was Yellowstone. really good. What else have we done lately? FBI. FBI is awesome. How else have we done? Mm. I don't know, if you guys have some good yeah. TV series, comment below. But otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. See ya. Bye. Bye. Welcome back. It's the second day of my vlog. I thought I was going to do it all in one day, but I didn't. What are you up to? <laughs> um, I'm filming reels for Baseline. So of cool. our new um, No Limits collection. 
This is Sarah, our graphic designer. This is the first time I feature, I think. Ooh, wow. How exciting. So Taylor sadly left us, but we have welcomed Sarah here and she's loving it and doing such a good job. So she works on graphics for our Ashy Vines brand and also Baseline. Baseline two days a week. And yes. then the other three days a week is with Ashy Vines for the challenges and everything. And our website, app, app detail, app development. So yeah, we've spent this morning filming reels for Balance and for Baseline and content for Baseline, photo content. Mm -hmm. And now I'm about to do a Pilates workout. I just ate and I'm not feeling it, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So in our Pilates challenge, you can either do the 20 minutes or the full 40 minutes. It's up to you each day. It does go for 28 days straight or you can choose four rest days, but we encourage you to just listen to your body. If you feel like having a rest, have a rest. I am not gonna do the last 10 minutes because it is core and abs are just not a goal of mine right now. I'm trying to grow a baby, not trying to grow abs. So I'm gonna skip the core. Also, do we like the belly when I'm hanging out or do we prefer it to be covered up? I'm not sure. Comment below, guys. I'm kind, of, <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like having it out. Have it out. I think because I'm insecure about it, I'm trying to like embrace it. Yeah, I, love I feel that. like it's so weird. <laughs> the tire touches it, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, we're going to start on the mat. It is day 11 in the app. So basically, with my phone, we just literally push play, and Amy's the flightest teacher, and I follow her along, and she motivates us the whole time. So let's do it. <laughs> It's about 30 minutes. Um, as I said, I'm not working on my abs at the moment. So at the moment, you can't currently join a challenge, but our next challenge is starting the 28th of March, and we have another new challenge releasing. So we really encourage everyone to start with the 28 day body balance challenge. It really sets a beautiful foundation, works on your mindset. You get to try all the different types of training. I take that whole challenge and I train Ash. And then Amy's is our Pilates instructor. And next we have some are very exciting. <laughs> He's gonna love it when I say that. Um, and Ash is doing a few of the sessions as well. And we also have another trainer. It's like a mixed, it's really, really different, but it's still really balanced. And it's gonna challenge you guys. Now with Pilates, a lot of girls have found it very, very challenging. And this is what I said at the start. People think Pilates is like the easy way out. It's so not. <laughs> it burns like such a different burn, but, but because there's no weights or resistance, it is like a higher rep style of training, but it really activates all those little muscles that we can forget about when we're doing our bigger compound movements. I just love the balance of it all. So yeah, if you want to join us for our next 28 day challenge, we do only take on a thousand girls per round. And then we all jump into the forum and support each other. We start, finish together, there's prizes. It's such a vibe if you're looking for motivation or you know, just feel like you're really bored in your workouts. We feel like you don't have anyone around you who's kind of pushing you and keeping you accountable. Come and join us. It's honestly like the biggest family. It's really beautiful. So the 28th of March, I'll put all the details in the description box below or just send me a DM on Instagram. But <sighs> I'm pooped. That's enough for me. I feel like I'm doing really well with my pregnancy training. I'm aiming for three sessions a week and I'm sticking with that at the moment. I haven't been walking as much as what I'd like to, but it also has been raining a lot. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're following my Instagram and my Snapchat because basically it's like daily vlogs. And I'm thinking about doing a baby Q&A next week. So if you have any questions about baby um, that you'd like to know, please comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.